Does this mean that I'll be able to keep up with you then? Or? Because it's dirty. Or because it's still? Because it's still. And because of an item. And because it's dirty. I've got some good news, guys. Today, I am off to meet a good friend, someone who's known to the channel. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know exactly who that is when you see him. We're gonna get some laps around the park and have a little catch up, see what he's been up to, and uh, obviously see if he can keep up with me around the park. That's me being sarcastic because um, he's fit at the moment. So we'll see, we'll see. Also I've got some really good news for the channel which I'll reveal later, maybe when I'm having a little coffee and a little catch up. I'll let you guys know exactly what's going on. Thanks for the support with the hill challenges as well. If you haven't watched the last video, it's a long one, but I had seven climbs in it, over 2,200 meters of elevation. It was a bit of a killer, but I'm starting to tick my, my hills off for this year. I've got around 20 hills that I've done now, so 40 left. I'm running late as usual, and I'll catch up with you en route. Oh, one more thing. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're an existing viewer or sub, please like, please comment, please share. With that, I am off. Here he is. Good morning. How are you? Good. <laughs> How are Good you rest. feeling? Fine, a little bit, a little tired, but all right. So any, for anyone that doesn't know, this is MG Cycles, Martin of MG Cycles. And you've leaned up a little bit, haven't you? What are you training for exactly, Martin? We, we want to know. Or is it just because you want to look it's good? Feeling better. Feeling better. Yeah, obviously look good. Obviously there's a part of it. Well, look at you. Yeah, yeah, there you go. We've got to look good, haven't we? So it's all and, about. Uh, yeah, just want to be in the shape like I used to be. I was a bit of a racing when I was younger. Yeah. At all. So maybe next year, uh, <laughs> Maratona. Or Tour de France, maybe. That's for later. That's something. <laughs> my 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 second customer is doing it. He's a charity. He's, he's a charity, right? Okay. And he does every single stage, as as, as this year's Do you Tour think de France guys think. Do you think we're a bit too old now, or do you think we can still he's do it? 60, he's 63. Wow. Tim Richards, sorry if our age is not correct, but I think over 60. And he does it, and well done, Tim. So, keep going. So you got an FTP test today, haven't you? Yes, with Chris and VO2 Max, blah. So we're going to hammer it, yeah? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it at all. And the bike's looking nice, look at this. What make, what model is this? With Villa, a user XP, which you can't see because it's been repainted. Uh, it's a lovely paint job, that as well. It's a bit dirty, sorry. Does this mean that I'll be able to keep up with you then, or? Because it's dirty. Or because it's steel. Because it's steel. And because of an item. And because it's dirty. Uh, it's a, well, we're not gonna, <laughs> we're gonna ride easy today. Yeah, zone two, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to <it's> Bino. <laughs> have, have you, and have you got time for a quick coffee? Yes, please. There you go. Right, please. in a bit. Not the same on my wife, <laughs> but honestly, guys, I did not remember what new kids we had. <laughs> There's so many. Uh, they're fantastic. And gelato, guys. Oh my god. I'm not, I'm not because it's my coffee shop. It's really nice. It's so really we're nice. talking about Bon Vivant here. Bon Vivant coffee shop in Teddington, guys. If you if you want good food, we got new menus. By the way, new printed. We got uh, massa mocktails, non-alcoholic, obviously. 
virgin mojito, a lemonade, everything handmade. No artificial nonsense, okay? You always go to these local <laughs> park uh, businesses where you're paying for sandwich that looks like Fontesco. Although, uh, instead of go there... Actually, you know, last time you were in the Bushy Park and like, well, you're five minutes from Bon Vivant. Yeah, do you know what it is? Why didn't you come over? Because no one knows you. No, I know, but when you're not there... I don't want to just walk in with my bike. I'm a bit can. reluctant. I know you when take you're not the bike there, back. I walk with my bike inside. Do you? Yeah. I park okay. at the back, there's nobody, usually nobody's there. But at the back side, I leave it there, park it. Have a but we don't, want the, we don't want to encourage cyclists to do that, do we? Or If it's one or two people, I don't mind. If it's like 20 guys or six people, obviously no. It's common sense, isn't it? It's common sense. You're not going to just turn like, hey guys, you've got a group of 20 riders, we have a bun run in Windsor, we need food. Like, I, no. I reckon at the back of the shop on that, on that little bit I on the left, you should put a few bike racks. I want to do it at the back of the, from back, 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 where the fire is the door. Okay. Sorry. Shoot. Thank Am you. I recording myself? Yeah. You should be able to see yourself. I just shaved myself this morning. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> right, so basically, guys, if you are in Teddington, check out Bon Vivant, opposite Tesco. It's Danny. That's, that's, wife. that's my wife, and she's responsible for all the food inside we have to sell. And is all the food made from scratch? Yes. There you Pastry, go. obviously not, yeah. but cakes, food, everything is fresh. We don't do anything. There's nothing frozen, nothing. Okay. Like any, if you go to all the coffee shops, all the restaurants, frozen, frozen, put microwave when we don't do this. Perfect. We always cook it fresh. And how's the how's the business going? How's MG Cycles? How's how's it all flat out? Is it just non-stop? Flat out. Yeah, I had a one call three days ago asking for service advice. So they said have to wait three weeks, and she was laughing the phone. Was she? I'm like, I'm sorry, but if I can do it earlier, I'll help you. But unfortunately, I can't. But that's it. I'm, I'm I I really was trying not to be in this position, but if you're busy, you're busy. Exactly. Every single buyer needs more attention. You're dealing with warranties, you're dealing with repairs, you're dealing with re more expensive buy, more problems you have. So I'd rather just do it right away than like a customer come back to me again with, oh, you definitely done this. Like I'll do everything all in yeah. one go and you just enjoy your ride. Yeah, and exactly. that's it. And I'll see you when you crash or when it's new servers again. <laughs> yeah, we've stopped at Rookie Corner. That's what we call it now. Rookie Corner. Nice coffee. Bite to eat. I've got some good news, guys. So as well as seeing Martin, which is always good news, Chris of Cycling Performance UK, who I've done a few videos with, bike fits and insoles and things like that, is now going to sponsor the channel along with Martin. So Chris is coming on board, which means in the future, as well as working with Martin on certain projects, as well as my own bike and other, other bits and bobs, other people's bikes, we're going to do a little bit with Chris on bike fitting, any questions that you guys have got, maybe for Martin as well, any little questions can always comment. But yeah, it's really good news because I trust these guys implicitly and I wouldn't ever go to anyone that was uh, substandard and I just like their attention to detail. So after going to these guys as a customer and then becoming friends and getting to know that how fastidious they are and how dedicated they are to their trade, same as me with my, with my work, I love the fact that they've come on board. Yeah, buzzing. So MG Cycles is a sponsor now and Cycling Performance UK. Good, good news. Yeah. Bloody hell, where, hold on, where's that cherry almond slice gone, Martin? Where's it gone? Somewhere. <laughs> Just want to have a quick chat with you as well, if you don't mind, yeah. about Slovakia, England the other day. Shame, uh, <laughs> I mean, it was... You were so unlucky. You were yeah. so close. I know, like, I know. Come on, guys. Individually, you're very strong, but put it together, otherwise there's no chemistry. Yeah. And you never win. My thoughts, exactly. My thoughts, exactly. It doesn't matter what sport it is. No. If, it's, if it's a cycling, if it's a hockey, if it's a football, whatever. You need to work as a team. Work together, otherwise you never win. Let's hope that England win the Euros. Yeah, it'd be nice. But I doubt they will. I actually doubt they will. They're, like you said, they're not working as a team. Anyway, enough of football, back to cycling. You've got your FTP test and your VO2. How are you, are you feeling confident about that? And have you had that before? Yeah, I had it once. It was in October, nearly two years ago, when I started properly doing this and I set up my zones. 
but tests should be every two or three months, I think. So I I'm not going to be filming that today, unfortunately, but we will see how he gets on though. I'll, talk, I'll chat to you after you've done it. At the moment, we're talking, we're discussing wills, right? So I'm considering, I was considering potentially at some point, like we all do, considering a new bike. Do you guys do that? Do you, I mean, it's a bit of a stupid question because we all know that as cyclists, we go through uh, into cycling shops, we look online. We're always on the lookout for decent bikes and new bikes. But it's whether or not you go through with it. And I feel a little bit like if I was to go and buy a new one, Am I doing it because you know because it's a better bike, or am I doing it just out of ego and a bit of materialism? And it's definitely the latter. Because my bike is still perfect. I am, however, looking at upgrades. <laughs> so maybe, perhaps, new wheels, new hub, that kind of thing. But yeah, that's that's my take. What is your take, guys? I want to know tell me and i hope you guys like the news about the channel as well hopefully it will help you guys you've got two proper experts on board now right we're going to finish these coffees and uh we're going to get back on these laps and i'm going to push martin a little bit but don't tell him keep it down <laughs> in a bit <laughs> It's been good. It's been eventful. It's been uh, emotional. <laughs> good I luck with. Um, <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> good luck with uh, Chris today. Yeah, thank you. Are you, are you feeling confident? No. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. We'll have a good one and we'll keep the viewers posted. Yeah? Yes, I will send you numbers. Cool. If we wasn't last time. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, all the best. Cool, thank you. So ride done. Do you know what? Do you know what I'm actually gutted about? 49.9 kilometers. And it wasn't until I pressed stop that I actually clocked that I had 0.1 of a kilometer left. <laughs> it's so annoying. Does that do your head in? I know we've discussed it before, but it does do my head in. If I'd have like clocked that, I would have just literally gone down to like the end of my road and back up again, and it would have done that. It's so annoying. Just round it off. Yeah, it's good catching up with Martin today. Always a good little ride out with him. He's, get, he's got himself mega fit as well. Also, really great thing about Martin as well is that there's always honesty. So if you're looking at new setups, rear hubs, new wheels, whatever it is, new bike, he's always good to ask because he sees so many and rides so many and works on so many. He often says to me that a lot of the expensive components need a lot more care, a lot more attention. So even though you might be getting something better that's on paper, in reality, we're not pros, right? So you're not getting your bike clean professionally, getting it all dried out, all the components checked regularly. It's just not happening. Even if you're fastidious yourself, you're not always gonna be on top of everything. So that's something to bear in mind. And he gives really good advice. Always good to ride with him. And then obviously going to Chris today, Cycling Performance UK, who is now my second sponsor. Whew. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed it today. A little poo tour around the park. If you enjoy the content, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one in a bit. Bye-bye.